Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you something new and as you can see I've been playing around a little bit with Vision Pro but not just out of curiosity but I've been working on a project actually and today I want to share my experience a little bit. First of all, if you don't know Vision Pro um, that's the latest device release from Apple. It's the mixed reality headset and they themselves call it the spatial computing device. Uh, so basically it's a device that you put on your head. It has these cameras and it shoots the world around you and it passes it through um, to your lenses in your headset. So you're able to see the world around you and then it's able to place a 3D world in interactive way. So basically um, you can have like things hanging on your wall, placed on your table or just like floating around in space. It brings the best there is in terms of build quality and features and we are bound to see probably more and more devices of this type from them. Smaller, lighter, cheaper, more powerful as it was the case with iPhones. This is not a review of Vision Pro so just on a side note I will mention a few of its features and things that makes it stand out. First of all it's probably has like best resolution in class, 4k resolution per eye and what excited me the most when I used it for the first time is the stable pass-through. So the moment something is placed in the 3D space around you, it's fixed in position and you can, you know, stand up, move around and it really is so stable. You can see like no jiggle there or small movements or anything. Really the thing you place in 3D space is so stable. And the next thing that makes it stand out are the gestures. It's completely controlled using only your eyes and fingers. So basically wherever you look at, um, this serves as your cursor, uh, basically so things just highlight around you as you're looking at them. And then you're using your fingers. Um, you probably saw online uh, how this works. You just like pinch your fingers together and that's a tap or you can do like a double tap or something like that. You can tap and drag. And since the device has a lot of cameras all around, it sees your hands wherever they're placed. So you can have your hand on your knee and just tap with your fingers or you can have it in front of you, whatever works for you and whatever is comfortable. And it offers multiple different experiences. But for me, one of the best was setting up virtual office. I can basically just take my Mac and be wherever I want and I can have this huge screen mirrored from my Mac and I can have like different applications floating around, uh, multiple browser windows, multiple browser tabs. I can watch YouTube on site and work on my main screen and what's best, I can combine it with virtual background so I can have this like huge mountain view in front of me. I can have all the screens in this environment so, for example, at around like 70%, I can still look down and see my table, my keyboard, my hands, my mouse, and I can interact with objects all around me. I can even like take my phone and look at it and interact with it. And the resolution is good enough that it allows you to kind of combine the real world and your digital world. So this was the best experience with the virtual office I ever had. And you can even have your office set up on the moon which is like really surreal experience. So um, these are huge selling points for this device. And again, this is not supposed to be a review of Vision Pro. I just wanted to have like a quick overview of what the device is and what it offers. And for me, it kind of offered the opportunity to join um, two worlds that I'm excited for, the world of 3D and the world of development. Uh, since October, I was actually building a game uh, for the Vision Pro, I teamed up with company Borderleap. I helped them before a little bit with exploring different 3D ideas for games. And now we got together and talked about Vision Pro and what it can offer to their portfolio of games. And they're a well-established game company building beautiful and relaxing puzzle games. A lot of these games are available on Apple Arcade, which is like Apple subscription game service, as opposed to the standard App Store. So basically you can think of these as games that are there with blessing of Apple and they're basically the best, best the App Store has to offer. And one of these games is called Illustrated, which is like this really chill, um, relaxing jigsaw puzzle builder based on artworks from artists all around the world. Um, there are even like Fango galleries 
and then some digital artists, some modern contemporary artists. So a lot of beautiful art to explore and play with and explore a lot of different stories and narration. So we really wanted to build the gallery experience worth the artworks it was presenting. Because so far on the iPhone, um, outside of the actual puzzle building, the galleries were basically just a scroll view of these different artworks uh, you could open. So we kind of wanted to build this 3D experience bespoke to the art style of these respective artists. So obviously the first steps led to Blender. We were exploring a lot of ideas, how to build these galleries, how to present them, how to give them their bespoke style. But then it was time to explore the Apple Toolkit. In this case, the Reality Kit, um, which is like a native uh, framework the Vision Pro apps are built on. And it's based on combination of using Xcode, um, the Vision Pro Simulator and Reality Composer Pro. So basically you don't even need to own Vision Pro to develop apps. You have the simulator, which kind of shows you these different 3D environments and you can really create your app using only simulator. And you're building all of the 3D scenes in the Reality Composer Pro and basically offers you an environment to create all the 3D spaces and layouts, um, decorate your assets with components, for interaction, work with particles and shader graph, which is based on Material X. So quite a powerful tool, but any interactivity then must be handled by code in Xcode. But I really love how Apple handed the crossfade between the world of 3D with their native Swift UI framework. And basically that allows you to freely mix and match both approaches. So you can have any Swift UI elements sized and placed in your 3D world. And same, you can use 3D USD assets while building windowed mixed reality applications um, with Swift UI. So using these tools, we were able to build these interactive 3D gallery spaces, as you can see, and add a lot of interactivity, animations, work on the comfortable navigation, and really play with the art direction, how things are looking, how they're feeling um, from gallery to gallery. So we're always exploring the artist style and trying to match the atmosphere and the vibe um, using the tools I've mentioned. And as you can see here, I can move around um, tapping different markers on the floor to teleport. Um, I can open up a puzzle, play around a little bit, um, build the beautiful artwork. And then we have some Easter eggs as well. You can tap on your environment and see if there's maybe some animation hidden there or some spatial sounds or you know some different interesting things and as i said before we built these different environments so if you're for example in the van gogh gallery you can see it's really down to earth modern gallery style but we built it multi-story so you can traverse the stairs um, between the different um periods of van gogh's work and then when you're for example in a more cartoonish or more stylized gallery um you get these you know, surreal, colorful environments to explore. And over the past months, we really pushed the reality kit to all kinds of limits and explored all of its nooks and crannies to deliver the best possible 3D experience. Um, and as always, I would love to share this experience with you who would be interested to bringing your Blender creativity to life using Vision Pro and the reality kit. And the learning materials for the Vision Pro development are basically non-existent. And over the course of the dev cycle, we had to deal with a lot of challenges that not Google nor ChatGPT had answers for. So if you'd like to streamline this learning curve, I'm working on a course for a full Blender to Vision Pro development, including Blender modeling, export, Reality Composer assembly and workflows, and of course, enabling interaction using Swift code. So first of all, I would love to hear your opinion about Vision Pro and the possibilities it can bring to the world of 3D and for us, the Blender enthusiasts. And I would definitely love to hear if you'd want to see like a tutorial or two about bringing Blender environments into Vision Pro. Definitely leave the comment if you're interested. And in terms of the upcoming course, I've set up a landing page for you. Uh, you can use it to subscribe to updates and get the first hand information uh, about the course. So if you're interested, uh, please visit the link in the description. And yeah, that's all for me uh, for today in terms of the Vision Pro and the new game we brought. 
Um, you can check it out. It's in the App Store. If you're curious, you can check it on your iPhone and iPad as well. But if you're able to get your hands on Vision Pro, you can visit the App Store and download the Illustrated app and have some chill puzzle experience. So yeah, that's it from me today. Um, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.